Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to solve some linear equations, some systems of linear equations using linear combination. This is a second method for solving systems of linear equations. The first method was the or the graphing method. And then we've also talked about the substitution method. Now we're going to look at the linear combination method. This is actually, um, I like to call it the easier method. This is a little bit easier than other methods, especially easier than substitution. But it only works in certain cases. So this, these are the steps for when you actually can use it. First of all, you look to see if there is a matching term. You're going to see two linear equations. Is there a term that matches? Then you will add or subtract the equations, giving yourselves a single variable, solve for that variable, and substitute. You do have to do a little bit of substitution at the end into the equation, but it saves um, other steps. Let me show you an example of how this works. We're given two equations here, 2x plus y equals 5 and negative 2x minus 7y equals 13. I look for terms that are the same. In this case, 2x and negative 2x. Again, I'm looking for, I'm not looking for the exact same term. Having, you know, the same absolute value or being opposite terms is perfectly fine. Now what I'm going to do to combine these together is I'm going to line them up under each other. So negative 2x here, negative 7y, and 13. And what I can do is add or subtract these equations from each other. Because I want to eliminate one of my variables, in this case I want to get rid of the x values, because those two will cancel each other out, I have to add these two equations. By adding 2x plus negative x, I will eliminate my, my variable of x. So I'm going to add the two equations together. I start out with my x terms, 2x plus negative 2x gives me 0x, or in other words, I can eliminate that. I'm going to add y plus negative 7y, which gives me negative 6y, and 5 plus 13, which is equal to 18. That means I'm left with negative 6y is equal to 18. I divide both sides by negative 6, and I know that y is equal to negative 3. All right, it's a little bit easier than the substitution method. All right, and that means my value for y, where these two lines cross, is negative 3. I can take that negative 3 value and substitute it into either equation, and I will get the final result that I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to pick, um, I'm going to pick this equation because it looks easier. Why not? 2x plus negative 3 is equal to 5. All right, and I'm going to change that to being 2x minus 3 is equal to 5. I'll add 3 to both sides of this equation, keeping it balanced, leaving me with 2x is equal to 8. Divide both sides by 2. My final result is that x is equal to 4. So the place where these two lines meet is the location for negative 3. My x value is 4, my y value is negative 3. And that's how we solve a system of linear equations using the combination method. I'm going to show you another example. Here's two other equations. I look at the equations and I say, which term matches? Well, negative 3b and positive 3b. They're opposites, so they'll eliminate each other, which is what I want to do. So I'll line up my equations under each other. 2a plus 3b is equal to 16. And I'm going to add these two equations, because adding will get rid of, when I add a positive to a negative here, I'll end up with 0. That's what I'm looking for. a plus 2a gives me 3a. Negative 3b plus 3b gives me 0. And negative 1 plus 16 gives me 15. I'll now look at my equation. 3a is equal to 15. I divide both sides by 3. And a is equal to 5. 
I substitute the value of A being equal to 5 into any of the equations. Again, I'm going to pick this one here because it looks easier. 5 minus 3B equals negative 1. That to me looks easy, so I'm going to use that one. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides of this equation, keeping it balanced. That will give me negative 3B is equal to negative 6. I divide both sides by negative 3. For my final answer of B is equal to 2, positive 2. So my final location or solution for this is that these two lines will cross at the point A equals 5 and B equals 2. And that's the solution for this system. A equals 5, B equals 2. That's the solution for this system. Now, the other kind of equation that you might get where you're using linear combination is if you have the exact same term, like 5y and 5y. Both terms are exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is solve it in a very similar way. I'm going to line up my terms underneath each other, x plus 5y is equal to 10. But instead of adding these equations, when I combine them, adding won't do anything. 5 plus 5 will give me 10. 4 plus 1 will give me 5. So that's not going to help. What I need to do is I need to subtract these two equations. I'm going to subtract all of my values on the bottom from the numbers on the top. And that's going to help me to eliminate my variable of y. 4x minus x gives me 3x. 5y minus 5y gives me 0. Negative 5 minus 10 gives me negative 15. All right? Now, this subtracting, some people like to draw parentheses around the entire trino or, um, equation here. And that's OK, as long as you're remembering that you're subtracting each time. It becomes a little bit more complicated when you get some negative numbers in there. But just remember, you're subtracting each term. You could also rewrite the entire equation by multiplying that negative through, but I think that makes it more complicated. I think this is a pretty straightforward way of doing it. All right, so 3x is equal to negative 15. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 3, giving me that x is equal to negative 5. I'll substitute that into any equation. I think that equation this time looks easier, so I'll pick that one. Negative 5 plus 5y is equal to 10. Add 5 to both sides of the equation. 5y is equal to 15. Divide both sides by 5 to get y by itself. y is equal to 3. So the solution for this system is negative 5, positive 3. So that's the ordered pair or the point where these two lines meet. And that's how we solve systems of linear equations using the combination method, addition or subtraction.